Balance Bell. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Bookmas, Bookmas Day 11. Hope y'all are enjoying it so far. I know I don't do a lot of nothing, but I'm having fun doing it. It's giving me something to do and keep my mind busy, which I enjoy always lately. So we'll just get on with day 11. I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but I picked this for our backsplash. And I just got one for now. I'm gonna watch a video, see if I could do it. The ones that come on this netting would like to be the easiest. So I just got, I'm gonna watch a video. I'm gonna do it while my husband's here, just so if I'm doing anything wrong, he can. So that'll be nice. That little stick up stuff they have that doesn't even cover all of the black flesh. I hate it. <laughs> so that'll be coming off. I think it just, especially seeing it against the floor, even though I'll be changing the floor too, because this is like a laminate. And if you, it has, we had to move the fridge out and my husband didn't do it that gracefully when I had to paint behind it and it just rips it so easily. So I'm going to get, I'm going to pick a tile for the floor too, but it would be the same color scheme. I would have wanted, I'm a gray person, not a brown person, but I've never had granite. So, well, maybe I have, that was a rental house. I'm not going to rip up perfectly good granite just because it doesn't. Maybe later down the road. I'm, like 20 years when maybe a remodel would be, make sense, but it's perfectly fine. So this just will go well with the granite and the creams of everything, and like the floor colors. And then we just need, um, we're gonna replace the stove and the fridge with stainless steel and the fridge I want I'm in love with. It's just, cause we don't have enough room and they don't make freezers with enough room. So I'm hoping the way the fridge I want, it'll have enough room kitchen window for like the top of this window since we have this big air conditioner in there until we get central AC um which we probably will once we get that water heater paid off which I'm working on saying get a window I mean get a little curtain for the window I don't know what's wrong with me <laughs> so that'll be the window the floor the two appliances this one for eight years um in our first little apartment that we were in six months before we bought our first house and so I'll get a little one. I just expect you to know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about a dining room table. <laughs> and then an island. I want an island so bad. Try to get it to match the, the top to match the granite and like the base part to match the cabinets and stuff. So here. And I'm about to clean the kit. This is just from last night. Because I do the dishes. That, like it was empty when my husband got home. I had some cereal this morning and my makeup wipes from this morning. And I hate show that gives me like a nervous twitch showing you that because I can't stand making this. That's why I'm about to do it. But I'm so lucky to have such a big kitchen. I never in my wildest dreams ever thought I would be able to have a kitchen this big. Like our first house was that we bought that we were lived in for five years was 930 square feet. And the kitchen was so small. It was so irritating. And um, so if my aunt and my husband like stood back to back, nobody else could come through. <laughs> And the length was like a little tiny hallway. <laughs> it was ridiculous. Plus he's 6'2", and then we had an, a dog, if you rounded up, a hundred, almost 100 pounds. It's just so, so. My main thing was a kitchen, and, a, and both of our things was a yard for our pup. This house is so old, but the kitchen and then the bathroom part of our bedroom was like added on later on. So, which is good, because. I think the kitchen was what our bedroom is. So, <laughs> I don't know. I think, I'm not sure though. But, so I'm glad they did that. Which explains like the step up to the stairs and how you can, there's that landing to get up the stairs, but there's also a step down into the kitchen. That probably would have been a step down outside before. <laughs> and I love my slow cooker by the Pioneer Woman, but it just doesn't go with everything. So later on, it's not like a big deal. To go with the creams and stuff. I'll probably get a slow cooker that'll match that better and keep that one for, Maybe get like a big one because sometimes I have to cut meat to where it'll fit if it's really big. And then just use that one for like soups and stuff. Because I won't get rid of it. Still haven't used this air fryer. It like intimidates me. Like I can't, it's so hard to find an air fryer cookbook with pictures. I'm such a visual person. Like I need pictures. I need to know what I'm cooking, what it looks like. Just reading it, it just doesn't do it for me. But I need to, I'm going to make something. Okay, time to clean this mess up.
much better. I'm also washing bed stuff and I have laundry, laundry laundry to do. shower and earlier I was I went to get I went to the store to get my husband some medicine I saw a German Shepherd and I saw a pit bull yesterday and I swear I see all these dogs now like I'd seen dogs around when we had our pup but it's like they are everywhere now and I love seeing them because they're all so cute but then I get sad and anytime I see a pit bull especially now I think about my pup when she was when I was with my ex up until she was 11 months old. So those first 11 months, she was around a bunch of dogs because we had a Rottweiler, a Boxer, and a pit bull. So, and she played with them and she held her own. And, but then when I moved out, so maybe not even a year after moving out, my best friend had his pit bull over it, and she was into her adult stage. She was like four years older, but she just liked to rest. She did not like my pup's hyperness. <laughs> and my pup was trying to play, and they were over there all the time, so and my pup was doing it, and then all of a sudden his girl pit bull attacked my pup. And my pup's doing her best, she's like, and she got, she got the pit bull a laceration like a one of her canines it looked like went into the skin because it was just like a hole above the pit bull's eye and she wasn't even she was just like barely a year old <laughs> but i still have the picture the pit bull got her and the hair never did grow right there right under right on her front leg and i don't know if it's a myth that pit bulls have locked jaw but that's what we were always told growing up in the south and that's what you always heard but i didn't care I got right in there and I got put my arm in between and I was yanking his dog off. Not yanking, but because I didn't want her to pull any. I was waiting until she, I was trying to pry her mouth. And so, and then I just got in the middle of it. And then my best friend's yelling at me that you're not supposed to do that. I'm like, I don't, I don't care. That's my, that's my pup and you need to get your dog. It wasn't the dog's fault. I know my pup annoyed her, but still, that's my pup. So, I got him, got her away from my dog. And I've done that before. Like, I've pulled up before, and when I moved to the Midwest, my friend there, he was having trouble because his mom's pit bulls, that I could see them. I was stopping to check the mailboxes. It's where all everybody's mailboxes were uh, together. And he had this pig like four by four or a big piece this post thing trying to get in the middle of them because he and I'm like just he's like you can't they're locked onto each other he's trying to get them locked and I'm like and I just got in there I didn't care and I helped him get them apart 
back to the other one. I don't care if it's a pit bull or not. I am. You're gonna get off my dog. <laughs> but I grew up like my, it was my uncle's dog, but it stayed at my grandma's. So even though I knew my uncle was its master, that was grandma's dog. And he was huge. And I love that dog. And be like, don't stare him in the face though. I just sit there and stare right at him. And he'd lick my face. Um, but anyway, she was so tough during it. But then when I got the dog away and I made my friend take him, take her into another room. As soon as the fight was over, she just started scream crying and she peed herself. I was like, oh my baby. She was like, what happened? I was just trying to play. <laughs> it was so sad. But, so yeah. But I thought I'd share that little story about my pup. <laughs> Her first and only fight was with a pit bull. She gave as good as she got, but it still... Man, that scared me. I was so terrified, because she, like I said, she's still a puppy. And a pit bull. But I don't, like, I don't blame a pit bull. Like, she had took an, taken a lot. And, like, I would get my pup, because I wasn't going to just let my pup terrorize her. Like, I'd let her try to play, because sometimes she would play back with her. But if she wasn't having it, I'd get my pup and be like, no, just leave her alone. And, um, but I didn't even get a chance that time. She was just fed up. Yeah, I don't care. Pit bull. Alligator. I don't <laughs> care. I'm gonna, I would have done anything for that dog. That was my kid. You can bite me. You can attack me. That's what I always said out there. Like, your guard, nobody's gonna mess with you with a wolf whoopie. A wolf dog around. I'm like, <laughs> That makes me nervous. I will jump in front of her and try to protect her. So if they're going to hurt somebody, they'll hurt me and not her. <laughs> so, I love her. I love her. I love her so much. I miss her. She is the best. Alright. I was just thinking of that story. So I thought I'd share it with you. That's it for day 11. Hope y'all enjoyed it. If you'd like to subscribe, I would love that if you'd like to. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.